Okay, so a new feature is uh, in beta testing for the Raspberry Pi 4 and 400. And uh, this new feature is called Network Install. Basically what you'll be able to do is set up a Pi without another computer, which is a great thing. I've done videos on how to set up the Pi from a MacBook, a Windows computer, uh, Android device, an iPhone, iPad, all sorts of things. But this will mean that all you will need is a network connection on your Pi and you'll be able to boot into an operating system. Several years back I had to use this same sort of system on my MacBook. When I tried to install Windows on it, I messed it all up, lost Mac OS, and uh, had to use the recovery. It was Command Alt and R, switch it on, and it boots up into like a tiny operating system, which then, as long as you've got a network connection, whether that's Wi-Fi or Ethernet, would restore it to its former glory. Anyway, let's continue on the Pi. So this is MX Linux and uh, the story on Raspberry Pi news. Network install beta test, your help required. Until today, you've always needed to use another computer to run Raspberry Pi Imager or to run something similar to let you flash your operating system onto an SD card when you get a new Raspberry Pi. But how do you get the operating system onto an SD card if you don't have another computer in the first place? It's the classic chicken and egg problem and we just solved it. So it's in Raspberry Pi Imager and it's a beta version of network install. And uh, there's a few options. Well, let's call it up. So if I press the Windows button and start typing Imager and press return to launch that, then we can do choose OS, scroll down to the bootloader bit here, miscellaneous utility images, beta test bootloader. And you see there's three options here, SD card boot, USB boot, and network boot. Uh, from what I understand from reading the article, this is what it defaults to. So if you pick network boot, it will try and boot from network straight off. Uh, if you pick SD card, it will prioritize that first. I'm gonna pick SD card because basically if you don't have an SD card or a USB boot in there, it will boot up from the network. So let's click on that. Choose storage. So I'm using a Samsung 32 gig SD card. Let's pop that into the SD card slot on the Pi. And I can already envisage in the comments people saying, uh, tells you how to set up a Pi without using a computer and then proceeds to use a Raspberry Pi to set it up. Uh, this will be something that will be built into new Pi. So in the future, uh, when you buy a new Pi, it will already have this bootloader in. So this process you won't need. This is just if you want to test it now uh, or if you want to prepare a Pi so you can do it in the future. So I click on choose storage. Uh, you can see it's detected my card, 32 gig and hit right and this is going to be very quick because obviously it's a tiny amount of information and yes and the password on MX Linux it's pi by default yet yeah, speeding through nice and fast and check in even faster that's it all done so continue I can shut down this operating system and I will be covering this uh, in another video because this new version of MX Linux is really nice to use uh, so shut that down and let's go back to basics. So I've got my one gig Pi 4, so I need a USB-C cable. I need my mouse keyboard. I need my SD card and an ethernet cable. So nice and basic, no calling or anything like that. Like when I first had my Pi, let's switch it on. Oh, and I forgot to plug in a monitor. So let's pop that in, the one next to the USB-C socket. Something's happening. Uh, green screen, I think that was the right thing. The board LED will blink regularly and the screen will go green to indicate the flashing of the new bootloader was successful. So we know that's okay. So I can switch that off. Remove the SD card. And switch it on again. Oh, okay, so we didn't get the familiar bootloader. Look at this. Uh, let's switch over to screen capture. Install Raspberry Pi OS using Raspberry Pi Imager. Press and hold Shift key to start install process. So let's press that. Press space to confirm and start install. So let's press space. If you have not done so already, insert Ethernet cable. Setting up connection. Downloading installer. This is cool. Okay, so it's rebooting. Okay, so this is cool. We now have full screen Raspberry Pi Imager. You can see we can change the language if we want to here. So let's choose OS. And we've got all the normal things that we would have. So it's obviously going to get anything we choose from the web. Let's just do Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. Choose storage. Well, I haven't got anything there at the moment. So let's pop my SD card in. There you go, it's shown up. So let's click on that. 
So let's try clicking on the cog. You can see we've got all these options for setting up SSH, so we can do a headless setup, we can change the password, all the new things that have been added in Raspberry Pi Imager. Let's close that down and hit right and yes. To install the okay, so it's finished writing the image and uh, it's restarted and you can see this is a brand new fresh copy of Bullseye. So all of that has worked. I want to see what happens if I boot it up now without the SD card in. So uh, I'm very impressed to so install far. The Let's screen shut reader, this down. Press and, uh, yeah, I want to know if it goes back into Raspberry Pi Imager or what it does. Shut down. Okay, this is interesting. So this is what happens now if I reboot without an SD card in. So you can see it's very different to what it would normally do. So install Raspberry Pi OS using Raspberry Pi Imager. Press and hold shift key to start install process like we had before. We've got the QR code as well. Uh, we've got progress waiting for long press of shift key uh, and press escape to cancel and go to diagnostic. So if I press escape, I get that. Uh, so this is the bootloader, but it looks, it's a nicer font. It looks a bit different than it did before. Fail to open device, so you can see it's gone through the SD card and the USB. Boot mode restart. So what happens if I press escape? Oh, it's, try, it's still trying to boot, but obviously it's not got anything to boot from. So let's press escape. No, enter. Okay, so enter takes us into this. So the only thing we can do here is, uh, well, we could boot up with an SD card or a USB stick, which we'd normally do with the Pi. But I'm going to press the shift key and see what happens. Press space to confirm and start install. So that's interesting because I haven't got anything it can install to. Let's see what happens when I press space. Waiting for network. Ah, so it goes back in and installs the installer. So we are getting Raspberry Pi Imager, but what it has to do, I guess it just doesn't keep it on the Pi because there's just no room for it. So it must be installing it into RAM or something uh, to momentarily use it. Uh, and then once it's used it, it must clear that out. Really interesting. Uh, it's, a, it's a really clever take on this. So you can see the installer is 22 megabytes. Starting installer. So it restarts itself and now it's restarted in Raspberry Pi Imager. So we're back uh, to be able to install another operating system. Yeah, this is so cool. And if we were to pick other general purpose OSs, yeah, all of it's there. Look, Ubuntu's there, Manjaro is there, all the different versions. So all of the things that you get with Raspberry Pi Imager are actually not contained on the Pi but the Pi can download it if it has an internet connection. Yeah, super impressed. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.